I'm Jenny Fish from One Big Happy Yarn Company. Welcome back. We're ready to start block two of our block of the month. So here's what it looks like. This is called the stockinette stitch bridge pattern. It's a mouthful, but it's actually super easy to make. So I will get started. I've already cast on. We went over that in the last episode. So you cast on 56 stitches for this block or whatever you need to obtain the gauge. And we're ready to start row one. Row one is pretty simple. We're gonna slip our first stitch and knit to the end, same as before. So we're going to slip the first stitch knitwise because it, if it doesn't tell you otherwise, you slip it knitwise. That means you slide your needle in and slip the stitch without working any yarn into it. And then we're just gonna knit across. That is row one, pretty simple, same as the last time. Let me get across here real quick and I'll show you row two. So, I'm just curious, how did block one go? You got both of them finished, you had to make that one two times, so you should have two blocks finished, um, two copies of block one. Let me know in the comments below how that worked for you, how you liked that. Got it all ready to go. Okay, so I'm finishing up row one. Go ahead and knit, knit, knit. Now, slide it, turn it. Row two, we're going to slip as if to purl. So, I'm on the, I've got my purl bumps here. I'm going to slip as if to purl. But now I'm going to knit two together. So now I need to bring my yarn up and around and through my needles to the back. If I go the other way, I'm going to end up putting a little bar across my edge stitch, and I don't want to do that. So you slide that first stitch purlwise. Then you bring your yarn up into the back, and now we're going to knit two together. To knit two together, it's pretty simple. You slide your needle through two stitches. There's one, two, and then you knit that together. And we're going to do this all the way across. We're knitting two stitches together all the way across. And this is a decrease as we go along. We're decreasing. Knitting two together all the way across. And we're on the wrong side of the work. This is also something I really want to point out. We're on the wrong side of the work, but we're doing a knit stitch because we're knitting the two together. What that's doing is giving us this really nice defined edge right here. Because on the right side of the fabric, you're going to see the pearl bump that it creates. So that's what's giving us this ridge right here. That's why we're doing this on the wrong side of the work. And then you get to your last stitch, and on that last stitch, you're going to bring your yarn forward and purl, just like that. Okay, then we're going to turn over. Now we are on row three. For row three, we're going to slip as if to knit. So we slide like this. And then the last row we decreased because we knit two stitches, knit two stitches. Now we need to make up for that. So what we're going to do is called a KFB, which means knit front back into the same stitch. So I'll show you how we work that. I'm going to knit into the front of that stitch, which is like a normal, a normal knit stitch sliding into that leg right there. Knit, and now I'm going to knit into the back of that stitch. So I'm swinging this around. I did not pull this stitch off after I knit into it. I'm leaving it on this needle. Then I'm swinging back around here and I'm knitting through the back loop of that stitch. So now I've increased one. So on the last row I decreased, this row I'm increasing. We're going to do that all the way across, knit into the front of the stitch, leave that stitch on the needle, come around to the back, knit into that. There we go. Do that all the way across. And that is row three. Knit into the front, swing around, knit into the back, knit into the front, swing around, knit into the back. Now the last stitch, you're just going to simply knit that one. There we go. Now we're ready for row four. 
and row four, we're gonna slip as if to purl, so slip purl wise. That means come in like this, and then purl across. We purl every stitch. And this pattern is called the stockinette stitch ridge pattern. And it's because it creates these little ridges in here. Um, okay, let me finish up with row four and I'll show you what that looks like on my little, on my block here. And again, it's 10 inches. So we got to continue rows one through four until your piece measures 10 inches long by 10 inches wide. Okay, here we go, and I've oops, purled all the way across. Okay, so that is one full repeat, rows one through four. This is what it looks like on here. This would be um, underneath, underneath here is where we knit across. Then on the uh, wrong side of the fabric, we did the knit two together. That's creating this purl bump right here, this big ridge. That's our ridge. And then the next, we knit front and back, and you're gonna see like this um, knit stitch, purl stitch, knit stitch, purl stitch. And you're like, wait, I didn't purl on that row. Well, when you knit through the back loop, you're twisting that around and it gives it the look of a purl bump. So don't get confused by that. That's what it's supposed to look like. And then you go back and you purl, and then you're back to a row one which is knit. This is what the stitch pattern looks like. And I like this one. It also makes me think of a crochet, like a double crochet um, with the ridges on there. So if you like to emulate some crochet patterns, this is a stitch pattern that you could use to um, kind of copycat a crochet pattern that's in double crochet. So this is the stockinette stitch ridge pattern. <laughs> I did not make that up. Somebody else named it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed making block two. Go ahead and make two of these, two different colors. And then meet me back here on March 1st for block number three. Happy knitting. <laughs>